Did you know that Mount Everest was first measured in the year 1856, long before the invention of modern tools like GPS and satellites? And centuries earlier, the ancient Greeks used clever methods to measure mountains like Mount Olympus. Isn't it surprising that how did ancient civilizations measure these massive peaks without the technology we have today? Mountains have captivated humanity for centuries, but understanding their true height and dimensions has been a monumental challenge. Let's explore the ancient methods of mountain measurement. Ancient surveyors used simple geometric principles to estimate the height of a mountain based on its angle and distance from known reference points. This method involved setting up select two or more reference points with known elevations, typically located at lower elevations and visible from the mountain being measured. These reference points serve as the base of the triangle in the triangulation process. From each spot, they used basic tools like theodolites to measure the angles to the top of the mountain. By taking these measurements from different spots, they created a network of lines all pointing to the summit. With the angles measured and knowing the distance between the reference points, they used basic trigonometry to calculate the distance to the top of the mountain. Once they get the distance to the top of the mountain, it's become easy to find the height. What they have to do is only putting everything on a trigonometry formula. Triangulation was a clever method for its time, allowing ancient scholars to measure mountains with surprising accuracy given their limited resources. The solar elevation method for mountain measurements is an ancient technique that relies on observing the length of a mountain's shadow at different times of the day particularly during sunrise and sunset. Surveyors choose observation points located at lower elevations and with a clear line of sight to the mountain being measured. These observation points serve as reference locations from which the length of the mountain's shadow can be observed. At sunrise or sunset, when the sun is low on the horizon, surveyors observe the length of the mountain's shadow cast on the ground from each observation point. The length of the shadow is measured using standard surveying tools. From the same point where the shadow was measured, surveyors use an instrument like an astrolabe or theodolites to measure the angle of elevation from the observation point to the top of the mountain. Once the solar elevation angle is determined, surveyors can estimate the height of the mountain by using the elevation angle and the distance from the observation point to the base of the mountain. Using trigonometric principles, surveyors calculate the height of the mountain with the tangent function. It's incredible to think about the ingenuity and resourcefulness of ancient civilizations. Thank you for joining us on this journey back in time. If you enjoyed learning about ancient mountain measurement techniques, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating explorations.